This is episode 2021 of the Daily Meditation Podcast. How are you doing today? I hope you are finding yourself beginning to relax into peace each time you settle yourself down to meditate or as you go about your day doing the techniques I share in each episode to help calm your mind and body. I have a special technique for you today, and this is a technique that helps to guide your inner awareness so that you can manage your emotions in a better way. Managing your emotions greatly boosts your mental clarity and focus. In fact, emotions are one of the biggest reasons why we often can't focus. It's how we manage stress and distractions, anxiety, that determines how much we are able to focus. So when you improve how you respond to stress, you're going to improve your mental clarity and focus. So I have a technique for you today that many of you love and some of you might wonder what is that technique? Well, it's called a mudra. It's simply a way you position your hands and this stimulates a corresponding region of your brain. It's very similar to how acupressure or acupuncture works. So doing these mudras are very simple. There are mudras you can do with your body, but I am sharing a mudra you can do with your hands. If you do this mudra, you can find it on my Instagram account, a photo of this mudra. It's called the Kalis Vara Mudra, and it's going to look like you are making a heart with your hands. So your finger knuckles are bent and they are pressed together. And then your thumbs are extended downward and they're pressed together. So your thumbs form the tip of the heart and your finger knuckles touching form the top of the heart. And then you're going to extend your middle finger upward, touching each middle finger together. This is gonna look like a steeple or a roof over your heart while your other knuckles are still touching. So this Kalisvara Mudra is considered to help you transition from an emotional state to a state of more inner peace. And this is really what you do when you sit down to meditate. And that's why meditation techniques are so powerful and important. You'll find most meditators do use meditation techniques to help them transition from a busy state, whatever they were doing before they sat down to meditate, to this state of inner peace. It's not like you sit down and boom, you are meditating, you feel calm, your thoughts are focused on your meditation. It's not like that, even with longtime meditators. It's more of a process where you begin to focus on the technique, your breath, repeating an affirmation, holding your hands in the mudra, or even layering all of those techniques together. And then this allows you to focus more on how you want to feel. It allows you to let go of the emotional state you may have been experiencing to a state of more peace, energy, and clarity. I want to share with you a little research on how meditation can reduce activity in the brain's me center. And this was a pretty interesting study that was carried out at Yale University. And what they found was that mindfulness meditation decreases activity in the default mode network otherwise known as the DMN, 
the brain network responsible for mind wandering and self-referential thoughts. In other words, this is what we refer to as monkey mind in meditation and also in yoga. This is from an article in Forbes magazine called Seven Ways Meditation Can Actually Change the Brain, and it's written by Alice G. Walton. So this study that she mentions reveals that the DMN part of your brain is active when we're not thinking about anything in particular. So when our minds are just wandering from thought to thought, and mind wandering is typically associated with being less happy, according to this article. And it can also lead to rumination. And rumination can lead to depression, thoughts that bring you down. And it can also cause you to worry about the past and the future, which contributes to anxiety and stress. So the goal for many people is to dial down or calm down this DMN center of your brain. Many studies have shown that meditation helps you do just that. And even when your mind does start to wander, as it does, even with longtime meditators, as I've mentioned, because of the new connections that you formed by consistently meditating, even for a short amount of time, meditators are better at snapping back out of this monkey mind, your mind wandering. So this is a technique doing this mudra that can help you do just that. So as you settle yourself down to meditate today, or as you go about your day, you could do this Kalisvara Mudra, forming your hands into this heart shape with your middle fingers extended upward. Again, you can find this on the Sip and Om Instagram page. I'll put it up there. And if you want to go a little more deeper into this week's series and have a mental focus journal and slow down guide, as well as the 30 minute meditations that take you right through this series, as well as access to over 2000 guided meditations. You can find those on the Sip and Ohm meditation app, and you can try it for two weeks absolutely free. Go and do this Kalisvara Mudra or Simply focus on your breath to calm your monkey mind. You are so worth slowing down for.